All right, today we're going to take a five gallon bucket and make it into a swirl filter for an aquaponic system. I'm using a three quarter bulkhead adapter and a half inch bulkhead adapter. The smaller one is going to be for my exiting drain and my larger one is going to be going to my grow bed. Okay, so first of all, I don't want it to go so high that it won't go in, but I don't want it to go too low that it's not going to do anything for me. I want it to fit as close as I can to that rim. So probably there, I'm going to put a little mark with a Sharpie so I know where to drill. So I'm measuring this by, it goes over just a little bit, but doesn't go all the way down. And this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to reverse drill so I don't tear up my plastic. All right, so now we got a really nice hole. Utility knife, I'm going to just clean up the edges. Since I got the gasket on this one side, I'm going to use the gasket on the inside of the bucket. I'm just going to screw this in. And I can use a different size to make the water level any size I want to. Now you may think that you need to put this as low as you can down here, but you really don't have to because inside you can make a little downspout so it can be up a little bit higher and that way it can actually suck up the stuff on the bottom of your swirl filter. All right, since I wanted this little downspout in the middle of my bucket, I have measured where I want to drill my hole. All right, after drilling the hole and cleaning up uh, the edges with the utility knife, I'm gonna put this one in here. After screwing that in, I'm just gonna tilt this down so when I drain it, it'll suck everything out from the bottom. All right, so this is how it works. I have a little hole right here that I put in because I'm going to be using a tube to put the water in and the water is going to be going like that, round in a circle. Um, all the heavier stuff is going to fall to the bottom and the stuff on the top is going to go into my grow bed. I don't know about you, but I do not like buying ball valves and stuff because they're expensive. So what I did is I just hooked this up like this. So now when I want to empty it, there you go a ball valve free way of draining your swirl filter. Then you just put it right back up and it'll go back up. Let me show you what it looks like on this. All right, since I'm using a simple pump that's connected to a tube, it's really easy to make this thing swirl around. Now, the water's coming out into this right here, which is a blueberry container with a filter. So there's extra um, ways of making sure that nothing gets in my grow bed and I can drain it anytime that I want to and it's portable so I can just lift it up and bring it to another aquaponic system and say I want to bring it over there no problem so there is a quick and easy way of making a swirl filter okay another measure of filtration is taking in a brand new filter and I tucked it up and under so now all the water is going underneath this and staying down there while all, all of the good stuff is coming up to the top and filtering through. 